Okay, to determine the total number of arrangements where Ann and Bob are not seated together, we're going to first determine the total number of arrangements where there are no restrictions whatsoever. From this number, we're going to subtract all of the arrangements where Ann and Bob are seated together. The result will be just those arrangements where Ann and Bob are seated apart. Okay. Let's do the first part here. In how many ways can we seat all five people without any restrictions whatsoever? Well, we have five people here, so let's place our five chairs down here. Now, we're going to take this task of seating all five people and break it into five stages. Stage one will be to seat someone in the first chair. Stage two will be to seat someone in the second chair, and so on. So stage one, in how many ways can we seat someone in the first chair? Well, we have five people, so we can accomplish this stage in five ways. Now, once we've seated someone in the first chair, only four people remain. So the number of ways to seat someone in the second chair will be four. Now that we have seated people in both chairs one and two, only three people remain. So there are only three ways in which we can seat someone in the third chair. As you can see, then there will be two ways to seat someone in the fourth chair, and finally, one way to seat someone in the last chair. So the total number of ways to accomplish all five stages will be the product here, which is equal to 120. So there are 120 different ways we could seat all five people without any restrictions whatsoever. Now we want to determine how many ways we can seat all five people such that Ann and Bob are seated together. How do we do this? Well, to ensure that Ann and Bob are seated together, what I'm going to do here is take Ann and Bob and glue them together so they become one entity. Okay? So now that we have four entities, we only need four chairs. So one possible arrangement would be this. Another possible arrangement would look like this. And so on. So we have four entities and four chairs. We'll tackle this using our stage technique. In how many ways can we seat one entity in the first chair? Well, we have four entities to choose from, so we can accomplish this in four ways. Once one entity has been seated in the first chair, only three entities remain, so there are three ways to seat something in the second chair, and so on. So the total number of ways to seat all four entities will be the product here, which is equal to 24. Now at this point it seems like we're done. However, we've only considered the possibility that Anne is seated to the left of Bob. What about the possibility that Bob is seated to the left of Anne? So we must also consider this arrangement. So once again, we'll take these four entities and seat them in four chairs. While well, using the same calculations we did earlier, the total number of ways to arrange these four entities will be 24 as well. So now we're done. We now can calculate 120 minus 24 minus 24, which equals 72. So there are 72 possible arrangements such that Ann and Bob are not seated together. So our answer here then is D.